morning or whatever it happens to be wherever in the world you are. For me it's Saturday morning and I thought this week I'd do something a little bit different instead of planning an entire video on one particular topic. I'm just gonna show you what a day looks like spent working on writing for me. Awesome sentence. All the words were in exactly the right order. So there's something I want to work on today and to do that I'm gonna have to take my own advice. So last week I made a video about how to start writing and the answer was just start writing. So I'm gonna have to do that today because I've been stuck on my current project for, I don't know, a couple of weeks now. I'm not making any progress because there's a wider picture to it that I wanna figure out. I know I've got multiple plot lines and I've got many, many characters, but I don't even know if it's a novella in Flash or it's gonna be a novel of Flash fiction or it's just gonna be a collection of Flash fiction. I need to figure all this stuff out because some of it relates and the stories weave together and then some of it just doesn't but it all feels the same in tone. So it could work as a collection, could definitely work as a novella in Flash, but I kind of feel like I wanna do something longer. I'm gonna try and figure all that stuff out today. I wanna figure out my plot lines, my characters, who's where, when, and why. I just wanna shake off a bit of apathy and get myself moving because I'm not making progress and I really hate not making progress. So I'm gonna put a record on and just sit and think about my story for a while, which is what I always do when I can't figure out what to write. Some people, I suppose, will just sit and just start writing something, and that can definitely work. That's even worked for me before. But when I know I need answers rather than I need writing, then I have to think about it and just wait. Otherwise, I'll just write crap. So I'm just gonna sit with my music on for a while and try and figure out what the heck to do with this project. And hopefully, answers will be forthcoming. I'll get back to you. I don't know about you, but whenever I listen to music, I find it helps me an awful lot with just figuring things out and putting me in the right frame of mind for doing some writing. So I won't say that in the last half an hour I figured out the entire plot of this larger project, whatever form that takes, but I definitely made significant headway, more headway than I have in the last few weeks at least. I always talk on this channel about how I don't plan things and I'm a discovery writer, and that's definitely true piece by piece, story by story, but I always have some kind of broad arc of story in mind. I always have an ending that I want to work towards, and this is no exception to that. But similarly to my novella in Flash, which I put a link to down in the description, I'm not really writing towards one large story at this point. I'm not planning towards the plot of the overall thing. It's more like I've got several and I'm trying to weave them all together. Or not weave them all together, but they just intersect somehow. Basically, I'm making a lot of progress today. Even though things are a mess, I'm starting to work it out and unravel it. It feels like I'm untying a really compressed and tight knot in something and figuring out how it comes together and how it works. So I wanna show you a few things about how I'm planning it because I'm using spreadsheets, which is really weird, but it's working, so there we go. So this is a spreadsheet that I've been using to plan my story, essentially. Excuse all the redactions, I just don't want to spoil anything if this becomes something that I end up releasing. So I'll get to the colours in a moment, but first of all I want to explain what all this information is. So everything in column A is a character name, so it's everyone in what I'm calling the cast of the story. So each character that appears or is talked about is listed here. And some of them aren't named yet, but some of them are, but I'm just keeping a track of them. This is a bit of information about who they are, so just a broad, you know, person that comes into a shop or whatever. It's, it's more than that, but that's the basic gist. This is some ideas and notes, so anything I want to remember about that character that I need to get in. And then this column, column D, is like the broad arc of their story. Why are they there? So in videos, I always talk about the meaning behind stories or the meaning behind characters or this or that. And this is a place for me to store that to make sure that I keep it in mind. So it's, what's the point of this character? Why are they in the story? What do they bring to it? What's the point in having them, essentially? And then across the rest of these columns, each of these columns is a story, a flash fiction story in itself. So these 
first 10 or so I've written already. So they're there and they're done and drafted. And then it just continues listing off until story 21 or 22 because I thought this was gonna be a novella in Flash, but I think probably to get everything in that I now realize I wanna get in, having done the thought process earlier on, it's probably gonna be a lot more stories. It might even be novel length, so that's good. It's a lot of work, but I'm looking forward to trying it because this approach is really working for me. So yeah, each of these are stories. Um, so you're probably wondering about the colors. So this bold green is whenever a character actually appears, is there in the scene, you know, talking, walking about, whatever. And then this murky sort of pond green is whenever that character is mentioned by another character or referenced in the story somehow other than being present. And I know it's really weird to use a spreadsheet for this kind of thing, but, but what this has led me to be able to do is essentially plot, like map out where characters appear and how they interact with each other. So you can see this, it's almost like a line chart here, but as I was creating more and more stories, as I was going along and finding the story, I was bringing more characters to it. But eventually I can't keep doing that because there'll be nothing that links all of this together. There'll be no common element and every character will be a brand new one. And that's absolutely fine if I was writing a collection of flash fiction, for example, but I'm not. I wanna write something that links together. So maybe a novel of flash fiction or a very, very long novella in flash, I don't know. But I can't keep with this downward pattern forever, otherwise everyone, everyone will always be brand new. The actual order in which these stories appear is not for certain. I'm gonna move it about, I'm gonna change things so it might be non-linear, it might be linear. I have initially thought I was gonna write this story backwards and I am still kind of doing that and I made a video about it which I'll link up there in case you're interested in that but the story has come on since then so I'm just going with it. But what you'll also notice hopefully through the blurring is that there's different colors. These characters that have colors to them, they're what I'm referring to as the main characters I suppose. That There isn't really protagonists in this story because every story is going to be from a different character's point of view there'll be you know, maybe one or two or three characters that have more than one story from their point of view and there isn't gonna be many. However, there are three central storylines relating to three of these characters um, and how they interact with each other. So that's why I'm calling them the main characters. Even though everything won't be from their perspective all the time, they'll still be central to what's going on. So they're the main characters as far as I'm, I'm concerned. And what I'm starting to do here is in the arc column, I'm starting to figure out who ties into who and how that might be. So this is red because it links into this character's arc. This is pink, purple, because it links into this one. So that's helping me figure that stuff out. And I'm gonna slowly fill in all of these blank cells until I can see how everything interacts and that's going to help me plan it. So how this helps is that maybe if I come to it with writer's block at some point or I come to it with not necessarily the next steps in mind, I can look at this and instantly see where there might be a gap and I might be able to go to that, that character and create another story. And The pattern I'm expecting is that this diagonal line will just start again from the top and keep con continuing because I don't want to add too many more characters to this because otherwise nobody's going to remember any of it but at the same time i don't think the stories are going to be in such a predictable order i don't think it'll be 10 stories and then a character and then 10 stories and then the same character it's not going to be like that i'm going to move it around so the final product will probably have no pattern at all but for planning this is certainly helping at the minute even though it's really weird i acknowledge that what a strange way to approach planning a story. I know, I agree with you, uh, it is a bit weird, especially for me because I don't normally plan in any kind of detail, so being so analytical is not usually something that I apply to my writing. I'm pretty analytical in other aspects of my life, I do like to plan a lot of things, but doesn't usually apply to writing. Having said that, what I write most often is flash fiction, and what I'm most happy with with my writing is flash fiction, and to me, you can't really, or you're definitely limited in the ways you can plan something that's gonna be a thousand words. But with longer projects, I haven't planned them and the results haven't been so great. The in-between, I think, was Gold Fury, which is, you know, 11 and a half thousand words, but it's made up of 20 individual flash fiction stories. So I did kind of plan bits of that, but nothing as in-depth as that. But with this, definitely that approach is working for me and it isn't taking the creativity away from me. 
I'm still having to find what's going to happen in each of these stories. It's not as though I'm planning out the plot line or outlining or anything like that. I'm just figuring out where things need to go like a big jigsaw puzzle. The way I've just been so meticulous with planning that and so out of character for me really got me thinking because I always consider myself a discovery writer primarily. And a lot of talk goes on about how you're a planner or a pantser or a discovery writer and you're one of the two. And I don't really think that's the case. I think there's an awful lot more factors that come into play. It's often talked about as a one or the other, a kind of binary setting, you're a planner or you're a discovery writer, but I don't think that's the case at all. I think it's actually a spectrum and it's not just your overall writing approach that is a particular point on that spectrum. I think it changes depending on what you write. So for longer stuff like this, clearly I'm going to need to plan and I'm going to need to find my exact way to do that. But with flash fiction, I will never plan a flash fiction story. So it's about figuring out what works for you in what context, and with what project. So it's a bit of a minefield really, especially for new writers who don't have a clue whether they like planning or not. They may try and plan a novel and not be able to do it and think that planning absolutely isn't for them. And then they may write a short story and no planning whatsoever and figure out that that doesn't work for them either. So my advice I suppose would be don't expect to always deal with things in exactly the same way. One novel might require a different approach to another, one short story might need a different approach to the one that you just wrote a week ago. I used to think consistency was a big issue with me. I thought, what is my method? How do I write things? How do I get from the beginning to the end consistently so that this isn't such a struggle every time I sit and put pen to paper or hands to keyboards? But the fact is I don't think I have a method, I don't think I'm ever going to figure out my method. What I need to do instead is learn and take in as many different approaches as I possibly can and try things so that I can see what fits every new story as it comes to me. Different things need different approaches, which brings me onto this video in fact, because this isn't my normal kind of video, I don't usually tend to do writing vlogs like this, I suppose if this is a vlog, I think I've done one previous, but let me know what you think of this video compared to my other videos. What do you like about it? What do you dislike about it? And just let me know because I'm always wondering about YouTube metrics and views and subscribers and all that stuff, but I never really engage and just ask you what you'd like to see or what works or what doesn't. So feel free to let me know in the comments. But anyway, let me know what you thought of this video and what you thought of my weird planning approach to this new thing that hopefully in the coming months I'll figure out just really what it is. Thanks so much for watching as always and happy writing.